First, we will say it's a wish list of a lot of things a lot of people would like to see being done in the country. Secondly, it's a plan of 42 billion, one third of which comes from the private sector. That investment from the private sector is essential to this being delivered. And the government has no control as to whether or not that money will ever come from the private sector. Yet, they've included all these ambitious plans in their programme announced today. The government has shown in recent years their inability to deliver on key capital investment projects. And that is the real worry about today's announcement. It is long on aspirations, but short on ability to deliver. Not only is the government saying they won't deliver it in this term of government, they're also saying it won't be delivered by the next government. They're actually saying it's a seven-year plan which will be delivered by the government after that. So clearly it's designed to fool the people and I really believe the people will see through that. In relation to their actual track record in work that they should be doing on capital expenditure, they have failed to deal with the housing crisis and the homeless crisis. They have failed to deliver broadband and they have failed in recent years to even commence work on the National Children's Hospital. In this plan, each of those three key items are dependent on funding from the private sector. So the government is including in its plans but it's washing its own hands of its ability to deliver this. So really, they are saying, here's our list of aspirations. We hope somebody somewhere in the private sector, here or abroad, will come up with the money to make these plans a reality. It's a phony plan. The people of Ireland will see through it, and that is the essential issue. And it's not a question of discussing individual projects. Most of the projects in there, I'm sure, are worthwhile. Some of them haven't commenced planning. Some of them haven't been subject to cost-benefit analysis. Many of them are seven years uh, to deliver, and some of them will actually take 10 years to deliver. So I think the people of Ireland uh, will see through the cynicism of this, and they've done a disservice to the Irish political system by making these grand announcements in the full knowledge that they won't, or even the next government, if they're a part of it, be in a position to deliver.